Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Sagittarius, for the week of March 20th. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button, Sagittarius. If you'd like a personal reading from me, all of that information is in the description box below. This is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Anywhere in your chart, or if you're just checking in on a Sagittarius, you're definitely welcome here, but it might not resonate with all of you. All right, a moon oracle card for Sagittarius. Sag, what's going on? What's going on? Let's see. Moon oracle card for Sagittarius. You're very close to achieving your goal. Ooh, I love this. The Gibbous moon. Very close to achieving your goal. Step out of your comfort zone, the North Node. Yes like this makes you a little uncomfortable wonder why i wonder why to achieve your goal let's find out <clears throat> let's find out why what kind of animal spirit card is up in the ether for sagittarius <laughs> yeah you're very nervous about it look at this mouse energy coming in very nervous about this sagittarius do not get lost in the details of this you have a bigger goal to accomplish here a bigger dream coming through for you so absolutely don't be nervous about this but don't get lost in the tedious details of it all either Ooh, look at this the nightingale got something to say <laughs> you are singing it out sag singing it out don't be nervous to sing it out what kind of zen tarot card is up in the ether for sagittarius tell me about sagittarius spirit what's going on some tarot card Ooh, letting go look at this beautiful energy with the eight of cups and the source wow the ace of fire the ace of wands here wow you are really close to achieving something here you're creating something and it all has to do with letting go with releasing it to the divine surrendering those details really surrender those details to the divine here all right Sagittarius I'm using my good tarot tarot deck today let's see what's in your mind space eight of earth this has to do with money making and where you're making your money and what you're doing to make your money so maybe that's why you're getting a little bogged down by the details here um, but there's some kind of big goal coming for you some kind of big dream coming for you it's music to your ears. You're loving um, this change of energy here because it gets you out of some anxiety, gets you out of some nervousness. Seven of Earth, the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, really standing your ground, but there's some kind of secret message coming to you, some kind of um, offer maybe. We're going to get some clarification on that. But yeah, you see that with the fairy whispering to the angel here. Some kind of message just getting whispered to you. It's more of a whisper than a than a, a song here, more than a belting out. What else? What else is in the mind space for Sagittarius? Two of water, the two of cups, merging energies of some kind. You go from being very earthy, very balanced into looking for something new to swim in, looking for something bigger, something grander, and merging the energies. Wow. Okay. Let's see what that's about. What else? What else is on Sagittarius's mind? Oh, wow. Very, very earthy. Look at the Empress coming through here. My goodness, Sagittarius, this is very balanced, very solid. This relationship, this, this integration you're coming into is beautiful. That's beautiful. Your bounty is here. There's something bountiful ahead for you. You've been harvesting something. You've been seeding something here. And here comes the growth from that. I think that makes you a little uncomfortable. Maybe you're getting very busy. The seven of earth can also mean um, busyness. What else? What's in the heart space? What are you feeling, Sagittarius? What are you feeling? cards are a little bigger than I'm used to. Ooh, temptation. <laughs> Devil energy coming into the heart space here. <laughs> I think you're tempted to get lost in the details here. You, you just want it to be perfect. You want it to be um, perfect. And so I think you're driving yourself a little nutty in the details of it and making sure that it's perfect before you jump into it. 
<laughs> wow. What else? What else is in the heart space for Sagittarius? What else? <clears throat> seven of fire. Look at these two sevens here. You've got the seven of pentacles and the seven of wands. Yeah, a lot of overwhelmment. I think you're absolutely getting lost in the details. You're forgetting about the magic that's here. You're forgetting about the, um, the miracles that do happen here because you've been so lost in the details, so caught up in the details of it all. It's time to open yourself up to the bigger dream and go bigger, go broader. That's going to open up the door to this dream coming true. Go bigger, go bigger. What else? What else is in the heart space? Justice. Wow. <laughs> Libra energy coming in, but a balancing, a balancing of this out. You've been too overwhelmed, too much going on here with these two sevens, but now you have a change of luck. Now you have the 11 sign coming in, the balance coming in, the Libra energy to balance it all out. Yes. I love this balance coming to you. It balances out some of that toxicity, some of that negative feeling on your part about your accomplishments there. I don't know what that is, but um, you just been, you've been feeling really negative. You've been really in the negative and here comes the positive. Here comes the call from spirit to wake up, <laughs> let it go. Let the details go, wake up, get into this dream, get going, get going. There's just this real call here. I love that you've been called been called to open your heart up here and stop protecting yourself. Stop trying to make it so perfect that you're missing the point. You're missing, you're getting lost in your own point here. And this is major arcana coming through for you. You've got the empress, you've got temptation, justice, and call. Those are all major arcana. So this is big. This is big. This is a big balancing out. Wow. And the angels are here. There's a feminine angel here that is really, really protecting you and wanting you to go further. It's just like, take this further. Don't get stuck here. What's in the foundation? What is this all about for Sagittarius spirit? Tell me what this is about. Oh my God. Another major arcana. Aquarius energy coming in. A lot of air energy coming into the mix here, but a massive wish come true. Some kind of miracle that you have manifested. You have planted the seeds for a miracle and here it comes. Here it comes. Your wish is about to be fulfilled. It feels kind of mythical for you. It feels ethereal like that could never happen. And you've been wishing on a star, Sagittarius, and here it comes. Here comes the bounty. Here comes the, um, here comes the fruit. Here comes the fruit. Yeah. Especially with that apple here with the, the heart bitten out of it. I mean, really Sagittarius, this is beautiful. This is your own garden of Eden that you have created here. And it's all about balance and healing. Oh, I love that. And stepping out of that mouse energy, stepping out of that nervous energy into an all knowingness into, I'm going to get my dreams. I'm going to get my goals here and nothing is going to stop me. I'm going to pull it from the ether, from my imagination into my reality. And it all just is so massively healing. Yes. I love this. I love this. And it's big. It's big with these major arcana been called for something bigger here. What else? Two of pentacles. Look at these two. So you're in some kind of decision mode. You've been juggling things. You've been too overwhelmed. You've got too much going on. You've got to lay some of these burdens down because you're just carrying too much. But I think that's why you're always in decision mode. Should I go blue or should I go green? It doesn't matter. Sagittarius, it's to get the, the uh, product out there, to get the the message out there, the, your voice out there. There's something to do with your voice too, with call here. Your voice is very healing for others around you. But yeah, there's a big, big dream that you are manifesting here, but you're getting caught in the details. You're getting lost in the details of it. It's time to go big, go big or go home, Sagittarius. You're going big. Eight of air. You've been up in your head. <laughs> Look at all these air signs coming through here. And that's all about getting in our own way, getting in our own path, 
here and stopping ourselves because things aren't just not right here or it's not perfect. It's not ready. It's not ready. You have this um, uh, um, rain on you, this leash on you that every time you st you bounce forward, you get forward into that next, that next cycle, that next uh, project. It's like, wait a minute, I don't have all the stuff though. I'm not ready. And you are absolutely ready. It's time to step out of your own way here and get out of your own head here and get into this dream. Let it come in. You are the only one stopping it here because you think you're not ready or you feel like you're not ready with temptation there in the heart space, but that's got to go. That's a negative emotion that's got to go. It's only holding you back. Oh my God, the major arcana is incredible. Six of fire and the emperor coming through in your foundation. Look at this. Look at this balance you found. Look at this confidence you found. Look at this new um, way of doing this you have found here. And it helps you to move on. It helps those ships to come in and you get out of your own way. This just lights up for you. The way lights up for you. And it is glorious Aries energy coming into the mix, but I'm blown away by the major arcana. This is a huge shift for you. This decision making, this um, um, idea of what you want, it's growing, it's gaining momentum here, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's bringing everything you wanted into your experience in the now moment. Yes, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Very ethereal, very dreamlike. I saw that tower wanted to come out for the energy around you, but the four of cups comes out. The disappointment, the getting lost in the details, the, the looking at what you have and, and just that tight grip on it that I don't want to lose that. I've worked so hard for these three cups though. I can only look at these three cups because I'm so overwhelmed. It took me so long to fill those three cups. And in the meantime, spirit's been handing you that fourth cup, but you can't, just can't see it because you're too busy looking at the details of it. Sagittarius, it's time to change your focus here. Change your focus on the bigger picture. Yes, look at this abundance, the king of pentacles. Wow, this king has it all together. This king isn't worried about details, not worried about how he got there. He just knows he's there and he is solid and he is secure and he is the king of earth here, the king of pentacles here. So ease up on that overwhelmment and making yourself busy with things that don't matter. You've got to really, really fine tune your focus here. Yes, look at this with Archangel Michael coming through. Oh my goodness. The major arcana is beautiful, but this is divinely guided. You are divinely protected here and it is beautiful. There's a, an angel presence around you, a, some a angel that has maybe crossed over as feminine energy that really, really loved you on this earth and is here with you very, very strongly. A feminine energy, a grandmother, a mother, an aunt, a, a family friend forever that has crossed over. That angel is here and really replenishing your cup, giving you energy back, giving you stamina back and uh, confidence back, confidence. Look at this with the three of cups. The celebration is here. The end is here. The end of holding yourself back, of getting stuck, of getting caught in the details here. You're letting it go. You are fine tuning that energy of yours, sharpening it like this fine sharpened pencil. And now you're ready to go. Now you've got everything you need. Yes, I love this celebration coming to you. What is in the heart space of others around Sad. Oh my God, the star. Look at this Aquarius energy again. This is all about healing. Look at the star over the star. Seven sisters in the sky. You have a lot of angels, a lot of angels around you, a lot of angelic protection around you. And it's, it's allowing you to be vulnerable again. Spirit is encouraging you. Open up, open up. Let, we will replenish you if you expend, if you expel your energy, if you give it back out again, instead of holding on to it because you're fearful of it being lost, we will replenish you, not only give you back what you think you've lost, but then some, because now you're open to receiving, you're open to um, experiencing something new here, something fulfilling, something gratifying here. Yes, beautiful, Sagittarius. Two of swords on the seven of fire. There's that decision making, that crossroads, that blindfold. It's just so dark. I can't see. How am I supposed to choose my path when I can't even see any path? It's just too dark here. And then you just took that blindfold off. It's like I'm just too caught up in my own mind. 
just too caught up. I'm holding myself back. I'm getting in my own way. And now you're just removing that blindfold and you're just off and running here. And you leave that fear behind. You leave that jitteris, jitteriness behind. It's like you had this nervous energy where if you weren't doing something with your hands, with your mind, with uh, you had to be doing something or those memories might pop in or those uh, painful experiences might pop in. So I'm going to block them. I'm going to just hold my guard up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block everything out so that I can protect myself. But you blocked out the love. You blocked out the light. You blocked out the replenishment. Spirit is encouraging you to put those swords down, put that guard down, put your armor down, and we will replenish you. Page of Wands, there you are in all your glory here. You're looking to the future. You're planning now. You're not holding yourself back with, I don't have enough of this, though. When I get this, then I can do that. There's always this um, hypothetical where if I just had this, then I could do that. And now you're putting that down. Spirit has called you to put that down. That just makes you nervous. It makes you feel uncomfortable. Step out of your comfort zone and say, you know what? I don't have that, but I have a lot of this. And I'm going to work on that instead of focusing on what I don't have. I'm going to focus on what I can get, what I do have to get more of. Yes, I love that turnaround, big turnaround. Five of Wands, look at this, a battle of wills. It's been very um, battle -y. <laughs> Everybody's standing up for their own opinion here and thinking they are right. And so there was a battle of the wills happening here in the heart space. A lot of people trying to voice and be heard, but nobody was being heard because there was too many voices, too many cooks in the kitchen here. So that made you very nervous. That made you very, very uncomfortable because there was too many opinions being thrown at you, too many ideas at once being thrown at you. And a lot of people vying for your attention with it sitting on the call card here. A lot of people calling you and texting you and, uh, hey, can you do this? Hey, can you do that? And you always do. You jump in with both feet because you are Sagittarius. I mean, this is your card. Temperance is your card here. So you always jump in to do that, but you were getting depleted. You were getting absolutely depleted with your own resources, with your own needs, with your own wants here, putting your own dreams aside to help other people with their will here. Spirit is saying enough, enough of that. You lay that down. This is your journey to have. This is your path that we are guiding you on here and um, follow us. <laughs> follow this way to healing. <laughs> What's in the foundation? What is this all about? The page of swords, you have a lot of pages coming in, a lot of messages coming in, but there's a lot of people with their eye on you. You're really the go-to person. You, you just, you really assist a lot. There's a lot of assistance happening here. It's like you are the, um, the called upon one to assist the others. Uh, I don't know what that's all about, but you have this grand responsibility and that's why it's all major arcana. But a lot of these responsibilities um, that were put on you by others are waning away in your mind and in your heart. And so that allows you to really work on yourself now and your own resources and your own um, replenishment here, your own healing process here. How beautiful, you're finally looking within and um, letting that fire burn, letting those seeds grow. It's like every time you planted the seed, um, you didn't have the water or you didn't have the right um, nourishment for these seeds. And for some reason, you just thought, you know what, I, I, there's other ways. There's other ways to get this to grow. Maybe I'm going into hydroponics here, <laughs> but that does work <laughs> and flourish. And now you're flourishing in this bounty of yours. <laughs> I love that. Ooh. Six of cups. Look at this soulmate energy coming in. Like I said, you have a lot of contracts you're fulfilling here. For some reason, you agreed. <laughs> you're like, I'll go down and take on the world. Why not? Just make me a Sagittarius. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. These connections you have. Sagittarius, they're so genuine and so honest and so real. And um, it's just your turn. It's just your turn to let your own internal fire burn instead of... Um, assisting and attending to everyone else's fire. <laughs> what else? What else is in the foundation? My God, the major arcana. <laughs> Look at this. With judgment, 20. That's the same card as call. Look at that. There is divine guidance around you, divine protection around you. But what was dead is now uh, reborn here. There's an awakening happening here, and it's with you. It's your own internal needs here being fulfilled. 
and it is glorious. It's the medicine you needed. There's Archangel Gabriel just blowing that horn of health right at you. It's just like replenished. You can almost hear the tone. You can almost feel the energy coming to you here. How beautiful. How beautiful an awakening of what was lost and planning and preparation for travel for sure but absolutely a card of stepping aside and let the let the divine um, handle some of these things really get out of your own way that's what this reading is all about let us take over here spirit is urging you let us take over here you have some divine glorious angel over here that is really encouraging you to thrive, to thrive. It's like you are the legacy of thriving here. And they're saying, just thrive. Don't get in your own way. Don't get lost in those details and get uncomfortable just because you're carving your own way here. I mean, that can be very lonely at times. It can be very lonely on the edge, the leading edge here, the bleeding edge that you've been on here, Sagittarius, because you first, you first to experience some things so that you can turn around and assist the others with those things but it's time to turn back around and carve your own way again get through some other energies here that have only to do with you only to do with you and your progression and your ascension into um, seeing the bigger picture here so that you're not so stuck in the um, in the maze of it all it's like the opening is here for you the the exit sign you can see now away from all of that um, contract fulfillment that you've been doing you've been the the triage um, uh, energy here through some tumul tumultuous, yes, I don't know why that word came out of me, but you've been through some tumultuous times here, Sagittarius, and it's time to reap the rewards of what you have done here to really celebrate you and what you've done and how far you have come and take a different path take a different path, walk away from some of the burdens that don't need your attention anymore. There's other um, energies around them that can really assist them. This is all about you and um, reaping your rewards, reaping those um, seeds that you have sown here. They're, they're, they're bursting, they're bursting with life and um, are vying for your attention and it's going to heal you so beautifully. All right, Sagittarius, what a beautiful reading. I, I love this. I love this. You're coming into this realization that you are the source, that you are creating this, and you're going to create this thriving, thriving um, foundation for yourself that um, all your dreams come true, all of your dreams come true, not just this, and then you lose that. It, it's everything you've wanted coming to fruition, and then you wanting more, you wanting more. So I love that. I love that. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you have a fantastical week, Sagittarius. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And I will definitely tune in with you soon.